In this video, we quickly want to take a look at Kitty, which is a GPU accelerated terminal emulator, similar to terminals like Alacrity and Westerm. All of them use GPU acceleration for increased performance, but Kitty tries to distinguish itself by also providing us with a rich set of built-in futures. Now you can think of futures like tabs and windows, but it also uses a built-in framework called Kittens to extend upon Kitty. And some of the built-in Kittens are, for example, iCat to preview images right inside of the terminal. It also has a Kitten to easily uh, change the color scheme for uh, Kitty. And we can take a look at some of them in this video. Now we can read here that uh, Kitty is designed for power keyboard users. And that basically means that you can control all of Kitty with just the keyboard, but it still supports mouse interactions as well. Now Kitty is also designed from the ground up to support all modern terminal features such as Unicode, TrueColor, uh, bold italic fonts, text formatting, and etc. And it even extends existing text formatting escape codes to add support for features that are not available elsewhere, such as colored and styled curly underlines. Now, one of the reasons why I personally switched to Kitty was because of its built-in support for ligatures. But as you can see, there are a lot of reasons why someone would want to switch to Kitty, unless, of course, you consider all of these built-in features to be just bloat. Now, moving on, if you already have Kitty installed, then we can take a look at how we can actually configure Kitty. If you haven't installed it yet, then you can go to the uh, quick start item in the menu and then read the install Kitty guide. Now here underneath the uh, configuring Kitty section, there's a lot of uh, documentation on how to actually configure Kitty. So if we, for example, go to the kitty.conf section, uh, here we can read that Kitty is highly customizable, everything from keyboard shortcuts to rendering frames per second. By default, uh, Kitty looks for a config file inside of the operating system's config directories, and that is usually this path right here, as you can see on my system as well. Now we can just take a look at my config file uh, to see what I have configured. So feedkitty.conf. And here you can see that I don't have a lot of options configured because this is really all I care for or really all I want to customize. I have a font, I add some window padding because I don't really like the text inside of the terminal to be squished against the border. I also ensure that Firefox is the browser uh, to be used when I open up a URL from Kitty. And this is basically the theme that I'm currently using and I will be showing you how this is actually used. If you want to know about all the other options, then I suggest to read through this uh, documentation right here. You can quickly look here on the left to uh, jump to a specific section. So for example, the window layout and tab bar, uh, we can actually take a look at that right now. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, Kitty can have multiple tabs and to open up a new tab, you can press Control Shift, which is the mod key by default uh, for Kitty, and then followed by T. Now here at the bottom, you can see that I have two tabs open inside of Kitty right now. And you can add more tabs by just pressing the uh, key combination. Now to cycle through the different tabs, you can use uh, the mod key again, followed by uh, control, uh, followed by the arrow keys. I mean, so left and right. And to close a tab, you can press control shift followed by Q. Now, if for example, you want to customize those tabs, so let me go to tab bar and open up my Kitty Conf. Here, for example, if I want to move the uh, tab bar to the top, then I can do it like this right here. Instead of bottom, I say uh, top. And now when I open up a new tab, it will show it at the top. If you want to change the actual style of the uh, tab, then you can uh, use this option right here. And here is a list of all the styles that you can use. So for example, power line, uh, slant, uh, separator, or whatever it is that you like to use. 
Uh, the same goes for window layout. If you want to configure the window layout, this is our, these are all the options that you can uh, play with. And actually, let me show you how you can open up a new window uh, inside of uh, Kitty. And for that, you can use the uh, control shift key again, followed by enter. As you can see, this will open up new windows inside of Kitty. And you can cycle through them, of course, with uh, control shift and then followed by opening square bracket or opening or closing square bracket to go forward or backwards to uh, the different windows. Now, these windows also have different layouts. Uh, and you can cycle through the different layouts by using Control shift again, followed by L. So all of that is pretty neat. And if you want to close a window, you can do Control shift again, followed by W. Now, the other thing that we can take a look at is displaying images right inside of the uh, Kitty terminal. So if I, for example, move to my wallpapers fo folder, I can run the Kitty plus kitten and then I cat and then do a uh, spiders falling which is the wallpaper that I'm using at the moment and you can see it, it renders the image right inside of kitty so that's actually pretty nice but depending of course on your system it takes uh, it might take a while or not I don't really have a powerful computer so that's probably why it took a while to actually load now, the other feature that we can take a look at is, for example, the uh, hints kitten. So if I, for example, open up a man kitty, the man page for kitty, and we can see that there's a link right here. And if I press control shift T, we see that uh, there's a one here. That uh, basically means that if you press one, it will open up this link. And now you can see that it opened up the uh, official website for kitty inside of Firefox. So that is pretty nice. Now the next thing that we can take a look at is how we can actually easily change a different color scheme. A lot of Kitty color schemes you can find in this uh, repository right here. And there's actually a kitten to easily switch to the different uh, color schemes that are provided in this uh, repository. And that kitten is called Kitty Oh, kitty, I mean, kitty plus kitten teams. If I run that command, this will give us an interactive way to switch between different teams and actually preview them. So I can preview them. If I, for example, uh, want to use Batman, then uh, it asks me what I would like to do, modify kitty to load a Batman or place them in the team file. Uh, and so on. So if I, for example, want to actually use this team, then I can press M. And now it uses uh, the Batman team for all Kitty instances, as you can see. And now if I go back to my uh, Kitty config directory and open up the file, uh, here you will see that this uh, code has been added to change the color scheme of Kitty. So that is actually pretty neat. Now I don't want to use this color scheme, so let me quickly change uh, back to the color scheme that I am using, which is this one. And now I'm back to using the color scheme that I normally use. Now the other thing that I would like to show you is uh, the syntax highlighting for the Kitty config file. By default, it actually doesn't have uh, the syntax highlighting that uh, you can see right here. But to add uh, this, you can install this Vim plugin uh, using whatever plugin manager that you like to use. And then you will get this nice syntax highlighting for Kitty. Now, if you want to know about all the other options that is included in Kitty, then uh, yeah, you can just read the documentation here on the website. But I guess for most users, a lot of the stuff is not really needed and you can just keep it simple. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show you for uh, this video. Hopefully it was helpful and uh, please don't forget to leave a like, uh, leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more content like this.